Well, hello. If you want to go and take a ride with me, <laughs> it's another traffic and chat with a little motivation. Posing for pictures, feel like paparazzi in the room. That one on the palm tree might make the shade room. Beautiful masterpiece, my interest really upset. Your body, my prescription, I ain't been taking my medicine. I need to up my dose. I can't keep my girl dose. Need something a little more potent. Feel like a roller coaster. Okay. Um, cause they out here doing the food this morning and what I ain't got time for is that playing with me. I'm trying to get to work. It's your fault that you leaving this late. It's actually not my fault I'm leaving this late. <clears throat> um, but I had to do a motivation video. I wanted to do it so bad at like three o'clock in the morning, but I was recording a moving day vlog and my phone cut off and then it was three o'clock in the fucking morning. Damn, you turned that corner, didn't it? Baby, you driving too slow. And my accelerator is garbage. What the fuck? What is that? Oh, water bottles. I'm like, sir, come on. I'm going to try to get the video done, y'all, but they be cutting up in the morning. God, dog, man, I just be trying to be great. Damn, I just be trying to go to work looking like an African queen. African American, I should say. I don't like saying African. Like, I know that's where a lot of us descended from, but I just, mm, I'm African American. I just don't be wanting to claim other people's set, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but forget it, African queen. Uh, <laughs> we here now. So, <clears throat> girl, that was low. Get that up off your chest. So, the motivation is know your worth. It's know your worth. Um, because and shout out to Tamika. Tamika put this heavy on my heart. It's it's her fault. So y'all blame her. Um, but that in the spirit was telling me because I have a hard time accepting stuff. I have a hard time receiving when it comes to people giving me stuff, buying me stuff, showing me love, any uh, all that. Like I'm appreciative, but I can be like I don't want to say overly appreciative. But I tend to do this thing, and I'm talking about me, but y'all know I be talking about me, but I be talking to you at the same time, because you know you do it. You know you do it. Quit playing. So I do this thing where I always ask myself, why me? Like, what's so special about me? For instance, like I always say, with Patreon, I didn't want to start a Patreon because I was like, is my content worth paying for? Like, am I really that good? Like, I underestimate myself a lot. And people be telling me, but it's like, you know how people just say stuff to be nice? It's like, are they telling me this because they just want to be nice or is this really a thing? And so it takes somebody that I know going to tell me the truth to say it. Like, bro, no, it's really that good. Because I know somebody, like people will tell me, what the fuck are y'all doing to light green? I know somebody that will tell me, hey, bro, nah, that shit fucked up, don't do it. If, if, if anything, Christian gonna be honest with me. But I don't know if that was so dumb. I don't know if people, like, I don't know. I just had this thing where I just feel like, why me? And so I had to change my mindset. And the reason it came to me is because I was journaling. So I journal. I have two journals. I have a journal where I talk to God and, like, write out my prayers or if I have a conversation with God or something like that. And then I have just, like, a regular journal, like, where I just journal. And so, hold on, y'all, because I'm definitely going to get over it. It's happening. Um, and then I'm just going to get over again. Well, you're going to get over it, And then I'm probably going to get back over if this infinity go. Is it going to rain today? Oh, I hope not. And it ain't going to be no parking watch. Come on, pimp. Because I want to get in front of you, but I feel like you speed. Hold on, y'all. Because y'all know I got to drive these maniacs it's full of shit around here. Please, don't, don't, don't play with me this morning. It's too, it's too early to be fucking with me in such a way. I'm trying to get a people a good message and y'all over here playing these reindeer games. Um... Nah, for real. Is it going to rain today? I got questions. I need to know. It's definitely going to rain. I can see the sky. But I had to, and it started because Tamika, I have a registry for my new condo. 
Well, it really started a while back when I started Patreon and people actually hopped on the Patreon because my mind, I don't think negative, but because I'm, for one, I got anxiety real bad and I'm a Virgo. The thing that Virgos do, we always think of the worst case scenario. We don't think about the best case scenario. Like we, we analytical. So it's like, okay, this is going to happen. And you know, I'm strong in my faith, but at the same time, we got to prepare ourselves for the worst case scenario. That's just, that's a part of having anxiety. That's a part of uh, being a Virgo, but it more, especially because I have anxiety. Anxious people and the people with the mental health conditions that I have always go with the worst case scenario. And to me, in my mind, I'm like, and I do that because I set my bar low. So if my bar go high, I'm just like, oh, shit. And I did that even with my book sales. And that's how I learned is because I had these high expectations for my book sales with my second book because my first book sold out. So when the second book didn't sell as well, I was disappointed because I'm like, well, the first book sold. Why the second book not selling? And it made me real disappointed. And I don't like being disappointed. I don't. I, who who likes being disappointed? But I was like, man. And so finally, I was like, whatever. You know, it's gonna happen. I ain't tripping. And it is partially my fault for not marketing as much as I should. As I, as much as I should. But. Um, when when I did Patreon, I was like, you know, who's going to pay? I was expecting to have maybe one or two Patreons, if any at all. But with having 11, I was like, damn, no bullshit. And then I got them like fast, like within a week. It wasn't like it took me all this time. It was like right when I started it, it was like, oh, you got 11. Like, I think I started off that first couple days with like six six or seven and now i'm up to 11 and i know that number gonna keep kicking me higher and higher um i know that number gonna go up so i ain't doing no tripping on mama now but uh because patreon get way more exclusive stuff than y'all like for the amount of videos patreon patreon get and then it's like tamika was like you know if i go like say i go up to ten dollars i'll pay for ten dollars like you give so much content it's worth ten dollars because people like shit be charging money and all this and don't be having no good content but that's a whole other thing anyway i created my registry because tamika bullied me into it because again i have a problem asking people for stuff my pride has always been like that but i don't even think it's pride i think it's because i'm not used to getting things i'm used to getting having things go my way but i'm not used to getting actual things and love and appreciation and support like my support come mostly from people who don't know me and so when people who don't know me support me more than people that do not saying that my circle don't support me because they do especially my mama she getting real better with that my mama didn't support me at first and it hurt so bad but now she's starting to support me like she'll come to ttm events and everything she like the ttm mama now <coughs> But when I first came up with the idea, she thought I was crazy. So it's like when people that you don't even know ain't never met in person and none of that, you can legitimately call them a friend or a family member and they actually do stuff for you that they would do for their own family. It sends you because you're like, what? well, what did I do? Like, why? why is this happening to me? So you got to stop questioning. First of all, you got to stop questioning God because that's all he's doing. You got to stop asking them questions. Instead of saying, why me? Why not me? Why not? Like, why, why not me? So that's what I had when I was reflecting and writing in my journal last night. That's what I was writing about. And again, it stemmed because Tamika bought stuff off my registry. And... Now, mind you, is this my... Yeah, I got a meeting in 15 minutes. Now, mind you... How far am I away? I should be 10 minutes. No, I'm not 10 minutes away. Now, mind you, I didn't want to do the registry in the first place because I'm like, I don't want people spending money. I don't like people spending their money. People got bills. Now, unless you just got it like that, then it's like, I, you know... But I know I got bills. And I'm the type of person where I'll spend my last on a motherfucking then tell nobody not to spend no money. It's just backwards as hell. But I don't like people spending their hard-earned money on little old me. 
But then I was like, nah, I ain't no little old me. I'm big old me and I'm shit. Like, I have to remind myself, like, hey, girl, you tripping? Like, why is you blocking your blessings in such a way? So my message to y'all is, why is you blocking your blessings in such a way? <laughs> like, stop blocking your blessings. If somebody want to bless you, you got to take that. You got to take that. And again, like me and Tamika got a whole competition going because I'll give her something, then she give me something, then I give her something, then she give me something. Because it's like, because you gave me something, I got to give you something back. That's, I don't know how to just take shit. Like, why you always got to give back? <laughs> like, just take it, girl, and hush. And she gets on me about that all the time. And her and Christian are the worst. They always got to buy something. They doing something. And I'm just like, all right. And it's like, just hush. So I'm telling y'all all that to say, when somebody is trying to give you something, whether it's tangible or not, whether it's advice, whether it's, uh, now, seek wise counsel. Wise counsel, okay? The Lord says seek wise counsel counsel don't be seeking just any about any old counsel from any old body seek wise counsel like you know me i'm wise a wisdom power to the people um this is how she is giving me that but if somebody is trying to give you something don't ask no questions say thank you show appreciation and y'all know i'm real big you better slow that motherfucker down i'm real big on showing appreciation like i have got to show appreciation it is a thing for me i'm very serious about it i have to give people their flowers that's why y'all always hear me talk about tamika and tiff and brooklyn and all my patrons tawana even them e e even if you ain't on patreon y'all fuck with me like that for real uh nikki savannah roxanne and i call people out by name because it's like i'm showing my appreciation by name i'm not gonna just say oh thank you to all my patrons no nope. i'm putting your name out there and if you don't like it oh well <laughs> Now, I ain't going to put your full government name out there, but I'm putting your name out there because I want you to know I'm talking to you. Unless I just don't know your name. Like, Dragon Im Imagination on YouTube. Because I be paying attention. I be remembering who y'all are. Um, It's Latricia. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, Go get her. Uh, I think the new the new family member, Nakia she got a it's a it's a beauty she a youtuber I, I see now sometimes my memory bad what is that baby's name i said i was gonna call her kiki or something see that's why i give people nicknames because i'm bad with remembering names but i, I give people they flowers while they here in public in front of everybody because i want you to know if you don't know now you know nigga <laughs> That's the type of shit I be doing. I feel like this lady gonna cross the street as soon as we turn and left, and I don't appreciate it. Cause I got to get to work, baby. Come on, I got ten minutes. I'm right here, but I still gotta get upstairs and all that shit. So that's really my message: is know your worth, accept your blessings, don't block your blessings, and just be happy. Just like be happy and be nice. Treat people how you want to be treated. When you treat people how you want to be treated, it comes back to you like tenfold um hold on y'all i have a take out off direct this for you real quick okay because i do not tell people where i work um for a reason because i have to separate myself from my job as much as possible when it comes to this youtube channel i feel like i ain't gonna find no motherfucking parking um oh this spot right here but Oh, that's about tight. Uh, okay. I hate parking by the entrance because then it's hard to get out. But, yeah. So, accept your blessings, baby. Accept your blessings let the lord bless you don't ask no questions i'm done asking questions i'm just gonna say thank you i ain't asking for shit i ain't at asking for shit else i ain't asking no more goddamn questions i'm gonna just say i just feel like i can't say thank you enough but thank you thank you thank you to everybody who gives who supports who buy stuff who don't buy stuff who love on me i love it all so when somebody trying to love on you when somebody trying to give you stuff and give you a like just in general like i said whether it's tangible or not receive it baby you got to receive that that's god trying to bless you 
And I told my neighbor, because she's so used to giving, when she receives, it's kind of like, are you sure? Or, you know, and then she'll feel bad for not giving. I'm like, baby, sometimes it's a season of receiving. A season of receiving. Damn, I think that's going to be my title. Sometimes it's your season to receive and not give. Sometimes. So when it's your season to receive, receive. When it's your time to give, give. That's how that works. And the crazy part is, cold part, I'm going to hit y'all with this before I drop it. Go and say bye. Tamika got a lot of stuff out of my registry I needed because, again, I'm starting from scratch. I already said that. I gave all my furniture away to a, a Hispanic man named Ricardo who was the maintenance man in my apartment who helped me for six years. He fixed stuff in my house and he wasn't even supposed to. It's the white lady coming. He fixed stuff in my house that he wasn't even supposed to. I gave all my furniture to him for free. He's at the house right now picking it up. I gave it all to him for free. Just for somebody to back dough and buy all the stuff that I needed. Or most of the stuff that I needed. Tell me God ain't good. It came back around. Hmm? It came. It always come back around. That's all I'm going to say. And on that part, I got to get to this meeting. I will see y'all in the next one. Have a happy Wednesday. Bye. Girl, you gave me